Hey guys, what's up? Chase here, and um, haven't done one of these in a while. I took down all the old tutorials because um, they're crap because I didn't know anything really back then. But new one, advanced time remapping with graph editor because that's people should learn that because that looks really nice when you um sync. So I've got my song here. It's a little zoomed in. So I've got my song. Right here, and I've here. I'll play it. So, I've got these little markers here for that's the drop, and then that's the second shot, and then it's the third shot, and that's the fourth shot. But there's only two shots on this clip, and I'll do two clips for this tutorial, and there may be a part two, and I'll include. Panda crop on it, so little miniature edit thing, not really, but you know. So first, let's zoom it in here. First, we're gonna add time remapping. Control Alt T to the clip pulls up time remapping. Um. So we want to first, before anything, find the first gunshot here. Uh. Where is it at? There's like a little thing over here that you can click and it'll like... Shows you like live feed when you move it. Whatever, but um... So find the first gunshot. Right here. Add a keyframe. Go to the second gunshot. here so now you've got your two shots right here in a keyframe shot one shot two so since you want shot one to go right where the bass drops you want to go to it and drag it to it and then you want of course you want shot two to go on the second beat of the song if it'll stop lagging right here because when I record it lags um so now you've got this Hold on, it's got to take a render. Alright, so you've got this little piece. And, um, so next I want to find the next beat so I can transition it to the next, um, clip. So, right here. So I can pull it out. Take the. I can then take a keyframe. Let's say, like, I want it to end on the gun going like that. So I can add a keyframe, highlight these, because you never want to delete the last one, and then pull it over so the ending one is on the end point. So it's like this. Alright, so now that we've got this, we've got to do the actual graph editor advanced part. So, highlight a keyframe, click this button, graph editor, right there. So, you open up this. So, we've got keyframe 1, that's the beginning. Hold on, that's the beginning keyframe. See, look, beginning. I'll highlight it, yellow. See, it's yellow. So, that's the beginning one. That's the first shot. Second shot, ending. That's the ending one. See? It's just in order like that. So, what we want to do is, in the beginning, we want it to kind of snap it, like, with the gunshot. So, kind of, these are the easy ease buttons, and you, that's how you kind of work this. So, if we want it to snap in, we kind of want to make a little snapping motion with it. See that, how it, like, it, it, it so... Uh, it's hard to explain. So when it's it's going up, it's in time. It's in time when it goes up. When if it's flat, it's not in time. So the flatter it is, the slower it is. So see how this kind of goes slow in and then snaps up. So it's like it, it's kind of snaps in with the gun. Watch. 
so it kind of does that little snappy pop motion, I guess. So then for the next part, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So the next part, this is what I usually do. I'd pull up straight up like about here on that side and then pull straight down about here. And I kind of like to even this part out, not even even, but a little bit even. Because if you get it even even, it'll look really bad. So let's see how this looks. So maybe we can even make it a little bit more poppy right here. Kind of even it out a little bit more. So now that you've got it goes boom slows down and then boom and then next we will make the ending part which I usually do the same but I usually change it a little bit so on the ending part I'll do the same kind of little thing here it might take a little bit computers being slow right now <sighs> so you've got that it's a, it's a fast song but I, this is just for tutorials only C tutorial t t I don't know but um yes that's the first clip now let me check at what time I am on this right now uh I am at seven minutes, so I may do, I might do one cinematic right here. So let's add in the death. And then pull it in. And since the next beat is all over here, right there, we are going to take this, add time remapping to it, control T, pull it out till the next beat and pull out the ending keyframe to the next beat so now you've got this sort of let me move this over here so it doesn't render uh you got this sort of longer piece so do the same thing with the um keyframes right here so you can go like that see how that looks But I don't really edit with these kind of cinematics because they're they're like more for flowy. I don't really like doing flowy that much. So, see, as you can see, there's like kind of that flowy action here. I'll start it all over. So you've got like that. Whoops. So you've got um that little flowy cinematic right there so and the next tutorial well part two because I'm running low on time I can only do 10 minutes because it's free trial thing so uh, I will add pan and crop to these and I may add a second clip so stay tuned for that I will see you guys later and see you in the next episode